got to think about it. I don't have the money. I need to ask my partner. Sales objections. One of the biggest problems people have when it comes to their online marketing or anything in that, uh, in that in that vein is because they've got to have a conversation with someone and they've got to work out how to overcome objections. Now, what even is an objection? Why, like, why is it important to learn how to overcome them? The biggest reason that you need to learn how to overcome sales objections is that it's going to be the difference between you making as much money as you want and you making very little money at all. Because the exact reason why someone sh doesn't want to do something is the reason that they should. Right? The exact reason where they go, oh, I have to think about it. I don't have the money. Well, if you had the money, right? If you, if you weren't coming up with the excuse that you didn't have the money, you would have the money and you'd be doing what you need to do. So you better do it. So this is the things that you need to think about when it comes to overcoming objections. Now there's four or five really big key objections that people face a lot of the time. And by learning how to overcome them, by learning how to have that conversation with people, and really it's just about articulating their problem and helping them understand how it's not actually a problem at all. And if you can do this, this is gonna be the difference between you being able to make hundreds of thousands, millions of dollars and train people to do the same and you just sitting there going, well, I'm not sure why I'm not making enough money. I'm not sure why I'm not overcoming all these objections. I'm not sure why I'm not able to do everything that it is that I want. So you need to start thinking about, number one, how do you solve objections before you speak to people? And then number two, how do you solve and overcome objections when people speak to you. So there's two key areas. I'm gonna talk about one right here and then we're gonna head back into the office and I'm gonna share a little bit how you can do it when it comes to your sales pages, when it comes to your um, ads and your copy and how you can really articulate that. So first of all, I'm gonna talk about the objection when you're in front of people, right? Then I'm gonna show you how we do it post. So I'm gonna start with number two and then we're gonna go back to number one. So when you're speaking to people on the phone, let's just say that I don't have, um, uh, I have to think about it. The best question, the best response that I've ever heard is, what specifically do you need to think about? Because you either haven't done two things. Number one, provided enough value. Or number two, you haven't instilled in them the belief that you know what you're doing. It really comes down to those two things. So if people are saying to you, I need to think about it, you need to ask and understand and find out why they need to think about it, what specifically they need to think about. Because that right there means you haven't done a good enough job yet in articulating the value and helping them understand exactly what it is that they need to move forward. So start thinking about that question. Just that one simple question. What specifically do you need to think about? Then when you have that ask that question, they give you the response. You're then able to go, okay, cool. And now I'm going to help you understand why that's not a problem for you. I need to think about it. What do you need to think about? I need to think about how it's going to work for me. Cool. Let's go through that right now because I know two things. Number one, if you send someone an email, then they, the likelihood of them getting back to you is slim to none. And number two, the likelihood of you following up with them is slim to none as well. You have them on the phone, that's your best chance, your best opportunity for you to be able to actually do something and converse with them and get the answer. Because you're not there to sell them, to hard close them. You're there to help them make a decision. Either it's a yes or it's a not right now, a no. Right? Not right now is a whole other objection. But it's either a yes or a no. And it's fine either way, but you need to help them decide because all you are there, the only reason you're there is to help them become a decision maker, to help them understand why they need to do something. And if it's a yes, great. If it's a no, that's cool too. But you need to be able to make those distinctions. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk back to the office in a second. I'm gonna cover, th uh, f cover through with you a few more things about sales objections. So uh, I'm gonna get up, finish my coffee, and I'll speak to you in a sec. Okay, back to objections. Welcome back now. We've got our coffee. Coffee is for closers, as they say. Now, why do we need to overcome those objections? What are those objections? Now, the classics are time, money, information, right? They are the absolute classics. And if you can start to learn how to overcome them, because everyone has the money. Everyone has the time. They just don't prioritize it. And it's down to you and your ability to help them understand why that is. Right? Because if someone comes to you with a problem saying they don't have enough money, why are you going to the movies on the weekend? Why are you eating takeaway? Why are you getting a coffee every single morning? Why are you going to the coffee shop spending five bucks on a cup of coffee? And look, sometimes there will be people that just don't have it. And then it's down to you and your ability to be able to help them and help them understand why. Right? Why it is that they don't and how they can overcome that. 
and that's up to you. However, those people that do, it's just that they're not prioritizing it now. And you need to understand, you need to dig deep. You need to find out the exact reasons why people want to achieve something. Because if you don't, you'll never be able to overcome their objections. I don't have the money. Okay. All right, I'll go about your day. Enjoy, see you later. That shouldn't be how you're doing it. What you need to do is you need to speak to them and under, understand and discover why, what is this driving force? Why do they want to do this? What's going to happen if they don't achieve it? What's going to happen if they don't find the money? I don't have the money because I'm saving for my kid's um, education. Okay, great. How much have you saved so far? Not much. Okay, cool. What's going to happen if you don't do that? Well, they're not going to be able to go to college. They're going to be able to go to university. Okay. So you just told me that you need to do this to achieve that goal, to help your kids, right? You just told me that if you don't do that, they're not going to be able to go to university, not going to be able to go to college, not going to be able to go to high school, whatever it may be. So if you don't do it, if you don't invest, that's not going to happen. So I know you're saying you don't have money because you're saving for that. However, you just told me you want to achieve this goal and you're going to need money to do that, right? You're going to need to be able to bring money in to be able to work with them on that. So by not doing it, you're not going to achieve your goal. You told me before you wanted to reach that. But if you didn't ask those questions, you don't know why. You need to find out what's going to happen if they succeed, what's going to happen if they fail. You really need to be almost a coach and understanding exactly what it is that they want to achieve, understanding exactly why they want to achieve what it is they want to achieve. Because that is the key to overcoming objections. That is the key to having success, success when it comes to your ads, your marketing, your funnels. If you don't, it doesn't work. I'm gonna do a little U-turn, boom, right? Walk backwards a little bit, see how we go here. Mix it up, keep your guys' attention, and make sure you guys are paying attention here. Because what I'm talking to you about is literally dropping truth bombs on you. You need to understand, if you haven't been able to overcome objections before, you haven't been able to know your market well enough. I'll challenge you guys on that, right? If you haven't been able to do that, you haven't understood your market well enough. And it's down to you, down to you to do that. If you can do that, you'll have great success. If you can't do that, you'll never succeed at overcoming objections. And what I wanna do now, we're nearly back at the office, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to identify the key things to overcome objections before, before you even speak to someone. So we're gonna jump back in the office now, see you guys in just a second. Back in the office, guys, now the biggest thing the biggest thing to overcoming those objections that you can do is overcome them before you speak to someone. And I know you're probably thinking like, what does that, Kim, what does that even mean? Overcome before you speak to them? Like, what does that mean? Well, what you want to do is utilizing testimonials, utilizing content, utilizing case studies is overcome the objections that your clients have before they even come to you. Because what you want to do is you want to enable you to have that conversation on the phone and enable it to be simple, easy, and effective. Now, marketing and sales, I've heard the best example has been likened to a game of golf. Okay. And if you think about it, sales, sales is hitting the ball into the hole. Marketing is getting the ball onto the green. So if you think about it, sales is putting. Sales is going, cool, just gonna knock it in, it's gonna go into the hole, yes. But you've gotta be able to drive forward, you've gotta be able to drive the ball onto the green, right? If you're trying to putt from the rough, that's not going to work. If you're trying to putt from the tee box, that's not going to work. What is going to work is by having an effective strategy to get you as close to the hole as possible, and that's what overcoming those objections really does. So. If you want to do that, you want to focus on um, overcoming those objections first, I highly recommend using other people's stories, other people's stories that they've had. So if you look at, cool, what do people come to me with a problem with? They say that, oh, I've got um, not enough time. I don't have the money. I need to think about it. I need to ask my partner. Make everything as comprehensive as possible prior to, so that when people do come to you, you go, they go, I have no other option but to work with you. I don't have an objection. So if you can overcome the objections before they get to you, when they get to you, it's gonna be great success, big tick, you're off to the races and you're gonna have a great time. But if you don't, then it's gonna be a little bit harder for you and you need to be a little bit more skilled and you need to practice because practice makes perfect. So if you haven't done it before, the best way to do it is role playing. 
right? Role playing, going back and forth with someone, find a buddy that's in business as well, and literally just go and tell you, cool, no thanks, I don't have the time. And then practice, overcome that objection. No, I don't have the money. Practice back and forth. The only way for you to be able to get good at overcoming objections is by facing them. And as well, realize that a lot of the time you're gonna get mirrored what's going on in your life. So if you have a situation where you're going, oh, I don't have the money, where are you saying that to people? If you're going, oh, no, I don't have the money to invest in uh, mentorship and someone to help me with this, help me with that, you'll probably find that you get a lot of that objection too. So you really need to think about that, guys. And I just import, uh, implore you, I believe that's the word implore you, if it's not, it's a new word, to take action and practice overcoming your objections. If you do that, I can almost guarantee that you will have success. All right, guys, and I wanna wish you all the best. And as always, make sure you like the video, you comment and let us know what you thought of it, if you liked it, if you didn't, what you want me to do better next time. Let us know all that fun stuff. And then make sure you subscribe as well so you get all our new videos as they're coming at you every single week. Until then, adios, see you next time, farewell.